Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome to another video. And if this is your first time here, welcome as well. And by the way, my name is Vance and my passion is to spark interest in toy collecting by giving tips and smarter ways to collect through online video. And on this channel, I usually talk about toys, action figures, Star Wars, Marvel. I do toy hunting, toy vlogging, unboxing, and toy reviews. And if this is something that you enjoy, Start now by subscribing to this channel and hitting the bell so you won't miss anything. So for today's episode of Who's That Fig, we're gonna look at Star Wars The Black Series Archive Yoda. So make sure to stick till the end of the video because I'll be talking about aesthetics, accessories, and articulation coming up. Big Bad Toy Store is a massive selection of toys like action figures, statues, and a lot of geek stuff. So make sure to buy your toys at Big Bad Toy Store. I put a link in the description down below, so go check them out. Alright, so uh, this figure was released on June of 2019 and was part of Rave 2 of the Star Wars Black Series Archive. And there was actually a first version of this figure which was released, I guess, that was in 2014 in a Phase 2 black and blue box. But for this figure, Hasbro did implement the um, face printing technology, which kind of looks good, actually. But before we look into that, let's look at the box. All right. So here you'll see an image of Yoda, and there's also a warning sign. There's a Yoda name at the side and the Star Wars Black Series logo and at the back of the box you'll see Hasbro and Disney's logo attention in different languages there's also an introduction of Yoda right here and this was the first version of this figure as you can see it says 2014 because that was the year that it was released and you can definitely see the phase 2 black and blue line box right here as well and on this you'll see an image of Yoda and again the Star Wars Black Series logo alright so let's open this figure up and there you have it alright so out of the box here is how the figure looks and it came with six accessory that's actually the most accessory that I've had in the uh, black series six inch line and let's start with the uh, Jedi robe and this is a soft goods as you can see soft goods cloak I and mean, there's nothing much to say about this actually but that's how it looks all right you also have a belt Okay, so as you can see there is a painted gray in here there's brown and there's also a, a clip a peg in here so that you'll be able to lock this down all right you also have some sort of uh, I think this was the flute necklace flute necklace of Yoda and you can definitely see the details in it but there's some sculpted details but there isn't that much of a it's only a black paint so that's basically it for this accessory and you do have the snake and you can definitely see those scales sculpted into the snake you can see some orange paint in it. it looks real actually I wish they could have painted the eyes as well All right. but that's basically it nicely sculpted alright and of course 
the lightsaber. The lightsaber, you can see the translucent green blade, and the hilt does have a black and a metallic silver finish. You can see some details here as well. And those were, oh, we still have one more here the cane. The cane is painted uh, with brown and you can definitely see those sculpted details as well for it to look like a wood but I wish they could have added the wash in here so that it'll look more realistic. All right. But the sculpt is really nice. Okay, so those were the six accessories that came with this figure. And wow, look at that. That's a very good looking face paint there. Alright. Does really look like Yoda. And it is nicely painted as well as, as you can see. The eyes are, that's a nice paint app. And the hair also, you can see the strands of hair is a very good looking head sculpt. And the outfit, you can see some fabric folds as well. The hands is painted nicely also. I think they made the wash in the skin. Wow, look at that. That's the feet. So that's basically it for the uh, details. This is definitely nice looking figure. All right. You can definitely see the sculpt, sculpted details in the figure. And the face print technology is just awesome. Alright, so let's start with the articulation. The head is in a single ball peg, as you can see. This is the uh, ball socket. Alright, but uh, it doesn't have that much of a range, but the motion is there. Alright, because they did use a, a ball peg. But uh, looking upward, that's n not that much, even looking down. All right, you can see a gap in here. If you would do this all the way, you can definitely see the ball popping, popping out. And there's also side to side motion because of course you did use a ball joint. A ball peg but uh, the range is not enough All right so we do have a basic uh, hinge in a swivel joint for the shoulders and that's as far as it can get and it's kind of weird because they did use a double jointed elbow but they didn't put a bicep cut in here so they should they could have at least i mean they could have used a single hinge joint that does have a swivel instead of using a a double hinge without a bicep cut you know and so we do have that range for the elbows because of the double hinge elbows. All right. But there's no swivel because you don't have a bicep cut. As for the wrist, they did use, I like that they did use a vertical, vertical hinge for both wrists. That's awesome. That's how it should be. Especially the accessories that you have is a cane, all right? You don't hold the cane 
like this, right? You you hold it like vertically and a lightsaber. Let me see if it can hold the lightsaber nicely. I think it can because it's kind of tight in there and I try to put it in yeah it does hold the lightsaber nicely it's not loose that's perfect all right and they do have a bowl there's a uh, diaphragm cut here let me see if I can pop this out Oh no, I can't. But you can definitely see the motion because they did use a ball joint in there. And there's side to side as well, but not that much of a range though. But the motion is there. Okay, so it can lean forward not that much as well as backward. There's definitely a swivel in there. Okay, so for the legs, you do have, it cannot do a T-split. can only do a Y-split. It does have a uh, thigh swivel, thigh cut. And you can definitely see it both suck it in there. And the feet does have a hinge. So that's basically it for articulation. I mean, for a small figure, it is well articulated, to be honest. Nothing wrong with this figure. No balancing issues as well. This figure can definitely stand without any issues. And uh, I paid 20 bucks for this, for this small figure, but it came with a lot of accessories, which is actually cool. Again, my only problem with this figure, uh, they should have at least used a single hinge with a swivel instead of using a double hinge without a bicep cut. Alright. But uh, overall, the articulation with this figure is okay. Not the best articulated figure, but you won't be expecting the dynamic poses with this figure. The face printing technology is just awesome. Look at that. Hasbro did a good job with the articulation still. Overall, it's a good figure. All right. So, uh, I think that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I do. And if you did, Please give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to the channel as well and if you already did hit the notification bell so that you'll be updated with future videos and again I would like to thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time